Hey everybody, welcome back. I thought with the recent news of the Sega Genesis Mini being hacked that we would cover Sega Genesis games on the NES and SNES Classic. Genesis games run really well on these systems and there's no BIOS needed or anything like that. It's just add the games, add the core, and play. First thing you need to do is hack your system and I will have a tutorial video in my description to show you how to get that done. Once that part's complete, open up HackGCE, go to your modules tab, and the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, Click on the newest version of RetroArch Extreme and then hit download module right here. Then go to the KMFD cores tab. I'm going to scroll down till you get to the Sega section right here and you have two cores to choose from. You can choose from Pico Drive or Genesis Plus GX. So you're going to highlight the core and once again hit download module. Close out the mod store, go back to your modules tab and install extra modules. You're going to put a check mark next to Genesis Plus GX or Pico Drive if you chose that core next to RetroArch Extreme if you haven't installed that already. Then hit OK at the bottom here. A bar will appear on your screen and once it's filled in all the way, it means that these cores are installed and they're ready to be used. Now we have to add our games. We're going to go to the Add More Games button down here in the bottom left and navigate to wherever you keep your Sega Genesis games. We'll take a look at Cyborg Justice, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and Streets of Rage 3. So I'll highlight the games you want to add, then click Open at the bottom. You can see here for a couple of the games the command line has been changed already for us, but it did not for Cyborg Justice. So to fix that, right click your game, Go to Select Emulation Core. Highlight your game. Scroll down to Sega Mega Drive Genesis. And then under Core, you're going to select whichever core you installed. So we have Genesis Plus GX highlighted over here. We're going to hit Apply and then Close. So now the command line for all three of our games is correct. I'm going to grab some box art real quick and then continue. The last step is to transfer these games from your PC directly to the console. So if you're going to play them from your system, you hit the Synchronize Selected Games button right here. If you're using external storage like a flash drive or something like that, you want to hit the export games. And that's all there is to it, so let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. Alright, so here we go, Streets of Rage 3, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and Cyborg Justice. We'll start out with Streets of Rage 3. I actually just got done playing Streets of Rage 2 on a live stream last night and it did really well. That was on the Sega Genesis Mini. So, never played Streets of Rage 3, but I heard a lot of good things about it. I really like the Genesis sound chip. I know a lot of people say it's not as good as the SNES one, but it's it's different. It's, it's hard to compare the two because they're just different. Um, we got four people, Zanscape, Blaze, and Axel. We'll go with Axel. Axel's my man. I like him. That's a bomb. That's a bomb that's going to go off. Never mind. It was close. All right, taking out some bad guys. There's Goldie. We got Zack here. Zack is showing us how to headbutt. Zack is a cool guy. We're going to show him how to fly across the screen. I used to be able to do like a uh, uppercut, and it's not working on this. But you can dash in uh, in this one. It looks like, oh, there's my uppercut. You have to dash and then attack. Ooh, I like that slam animation. Watch the chains at the top. Oh, trying to hold me. You can't hold Axel back. What are you thinking? That's really cool. I like the, the little details in the background like that. He says bare knuckle in this one. That's a lot clearer than in the second one. Oh, this guy's got a gun. Okay, he looks important. There's a couple of them. Oh, the big guy is back from the second one too. And the sword returns as well. My favorites. Too much fun. We gotta move on to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I didn't actually know this came out for the Genesis. I've only played the Super Nintendo version and somebody mentioned it last night in the live stream. So I thought we'd take a look at it today. Probably one of the best co-op games I've ever seen on any system. This is a really, really cool game. And all you do, you go around, you rescue your neighbors or teachers, even though they give you Fs and take out various monsters. So you know me, horror theme, I'm all for it. Grab the baby, grab the chef and the tourists and I got something else off the ground. I think it was more ammo. Oh, the trampolines, yes. There's somebody in that pool. How do we get there? You jump on the trampoline. Looks like somebody's over here. The dog, gotta save the dog. Of all people, you're gonna save the mean teacher. You gotta save the dog. And when you rescue everybody, you go into the exit. And that's the game. It's so simple and easy, but so much fun. Music is really good. Okay, we're gonna get the military guy. I wouldn't think he would need saving, but it's getting dark. It's getting evening of the undead. There's a key. I want that. Oh, it's getting real dark. We got bazooka. We got exploding cans. Let's use some of these weapons. How's the bazooka look? Oh, it's got some kick to it. A little bit of kick. I can't aim this thing for anything. There we go. And the cans. Oh, grenade, soda. What about this one? Uh-oh. We're a monster now. Go in as the monster. Monster finish. Last but not least, we have Cyborg Justice. I don't think a lot of people know about this game. 
And I used the soundtrack on my trip video when I went to go buy the Sega Genesis Mini. So you get to select your robot and you can select what kind of arms, body, and legs that you want. You just make whatever robot you want. I personally like the crusher hand or the saw hand. We'll go with the big booster body. So you can kind of do a lunge attack, some chops, uppercuts. You can attack with your, your saw arm. And then you just fight other uh, robots. All while rockets are shooting at you from the side of the screen. If I had one complaint, it's those freaking rockets. But also, they take out the bad guys too. Well, look at that strut. That cyborg strut. So there you go. Sega Genesis games running really well on the NES and SNES Classic. That's all I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through Patreon. Eric Cologne. Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, William Wend, Yaroslav Orozov.